Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh dear brothers and sisters. In this holy month of Ramadan insha'Allah, as we all together attempt to become nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to race to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to know Allah and His Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more and more, we want to make sure that we overcome any obstacles that come in our way in achieving that goal insha'Allah ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Surah Al-Ahqaf إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهُ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَامُوا فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا هُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions more than 50 times in the Qur'an to the believers that no, that no fear or grief or sadness will come upon them and he is giving this assurance to the believers that they, if they remain patient and steadfast in all of their affairs, despite their circumstances, good or bad, then they should not fear, they should not worry, they should not have any type of anxiety. And the Prophet ﷺ also knew that the believers will be tested sometimes. And he mentioned that we should mention the following uh, dua, um, three times in the morning and three times in the evening. Um, he said, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al hammi wal hazan. That we ask Allah, we seek refuge from Allah from any type of anxiety or worry or grief or sadness. Wa a'udhu bika min al ajizi wal kasal. That we seek refuge in Allah from weakness and from laziness. Wa a'udhu bika min al jubni wal bukhul. That we seek refuge from Allah from uh, being uh, stingy um, or, or uh, being a coward. And lastly, We seek refuge from Allah in any debt or any loans and from the hatred of men. And we see that the Prophet ﷺ knew that the, the believer will have this anxiety and will have these worries. So the Allah, the Prophet ﷺ is telling us to say this dua and to rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will relieve us from that situation if we stick to Him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a number of examples in the Quran to reaffirm that. We take the example of Yaqub alayhi salam, um, that he lost Yusuf alayhi salam, and then he lost his son later on. And because um, of his losses and his grief and his sadness, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had caused him to lose even his eyesight, subhanAllah. But what does Yaqub alayhi salam um, say despite all of these trials and these tribulations? He says, Patience is beautiful and he remained patient. Patience is beautiful, sabrun jameel. And he later on says in Surah Yusuf, that I complain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of my sadness and of my situation. Only to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do I complain. He did not say, he did not say, why ya Allah, why, why me? Why did you put me in this situation? No, rather he complained to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he remained steadfast. Again, he remained patient. And then surely enough, what was the result of all that? He, his two sons were returned back to him. His eyesight, subhanAllah, was returned back to him. Why? Because he remained patient and he did not complain to anybody except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what's in our hearts and knows what's on our minds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who put us in that situation, in that hardship, in that obstacle. And surely enough, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who can take us out of that situation as well. The Prophet sallallahu mentioned that the situation of the believer is, is unique that if something good happens to him or her, 
then he or, he or she is, is thankful, shows gratitude, and that is good for him or her. And if something bad happens, a calamity happens, then he or she is, 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 is patient. Um, and indeed, that is also good for him or her. So always when something good happens to us, we also always have to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gratitude, a shukr. Always say alhamdulillah. Make our tongues moisturized with this word alhamdulillah for what we have, good or bad, small or large. Um, and also to remain patient in times where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, uh, is, is testing us. Just like Yaqub with his sons and his eyesight. Just like Ayyub who at a time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him a horrible disease, he gave him leprosy and he stayed with that disease for almost 17 years. What did Ayyub say? He said, that the uh, disease has touched me, but oh Allah, you are the most merciful of the merciful. So look at this etiquette and the patience that Ayyub السلام, had, despite the fact that he was in a very uh, 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 detrimental disease. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always open uh, the, the doors uh, for the, those people who are patient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, that seek help in, help in prayer and in patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala indeed is with those who are patient, inshaAllah. Another example in the Quran that Allah gives us, Yunus, Jonah, alayhi salam that he was at sea and then a whale swallowed him and he is in the stomach of the whale. And what does uh, Yunus السلام, say in the darkness of the whale? Sometimes subhanAllah, we, we're, in, we're in so much hardship and so many obstacles are coming our way. We feel we're in such darkness. We feel so constricted. But Yunus السلام, he's in the physical darkness. And what does he say uh, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? He says, La ilaha illa there's no deity worthy of worship except Allah and glory be to Allah that I may have been of the transgressors. So Yunus alayhi salam, he's in that horrible situation but he does not, he does not lose hope. He turns back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he seeks forgiveness. Um, uh, he seeks the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one more example, Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam, he was fleeing, running away from the enemy, from, from Fir'aun and from the enemies of Fir'aun until the point where he reaches a whole sea, a whole, the Red Sea. And there's nothing in front of him except the sea and the enemy behind him. What does Musa alayhi salam do? Does he give up and lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? No, he calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and surely enough, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens the sea for Musa alayhi salam. Think of the situation that Musa is in, but he never loses hope in Allah to the point where Allah did something um, unanticipated that he opens a whole sea for Musa so that Musa can be saved, him and his followers. SubhanAllah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bigger than Fir'aun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is bigger than Pharaoh and our problems and our hardships and our obstacles. Just like Allah opened the sea for Musa, surely enough Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened the doors inshallah ta'ala for us, for, for that solution that we seek. But the key thing is to remain steadfast and to remain patient and to always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help. Lastly, the Prophet وسلم, says that if we remember Allah in the time of ease, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remember us in the time of hardship. That's key because when things are going well for us, when things are when we have a lot of blessings, we have to go back to what the Prophet وسلم, mentioned that we always always have to say Alhamdulillah and always show gratitude. And then when things are going bad, in the bad circumstances, then surely enough Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not leave us because we hang on to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we never inshaAllah ta'ala lose hope in Him. What does it mean to be a Muslim? To submit. Submit to who? Submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That we should always submit our, our situations and our, and our affairs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always wholeheartedly because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows our situation. So, so submit ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I'll end with a verse from Surah Al-Talaq. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says,
وَمَن يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَل لَّهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبُ وَمَن يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ Whoever fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whoever, remember, whoever remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and calls upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will find a way for him, a way out for him or her, and will give him or her risk, uh, provisions, will provide. And that if we just trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is sufficient for us. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our fasting, to accept our good deeds, to accept our dua and our prayers and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us and to bless our families and to always remember Him in the good and in the bad, to make us of those who have strong faith and those who are patient and steadfast. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.